Hello everyone, it's Sheila back again. Um, it's I'm not doing a tutorial um, today. I'm going to show um, a review on some um, crochet hooks I bought from uh, Mariners. Um, these were the the hooks I bought, the Millward, and they're a pack of um, six, and they go from two point five millimeter three. 3.5, 4, 4.5 and 5 millimetre. So I've got six crochet hooks with the, um, the grips for um, £5.50, I think um, they were. I would have bought more if they'd had some larger sizes, but that was as, as far as the, um, the size went up. But I, they did have a um, set where you could buy single ones. This is um, Whitecroft. This, this was a six... A six millimeter they didn't have a 5.5 millimeter in, in this one but that was the largest they went up to in these ones these were one pound fifty each but um i thought the kind i usually use are these um i've probably had these since i've first been crocheting they're probably over 50 years 50 years old and force of habit i think um i always use these and i think these are the best but Recently, I've done one or two, um, you know, these are the same kind, but they're, um, they're thicker. I've done one or two using, um, like, chunky, like, um, iron, like, something. I think these little coaster things I did were, um, were chunky. And I was using these ones. I know they felt better in my hand because it was more, more actually, the thickness in the, um, the hand, they felt a bit better. So I thought, oh, I'll try. I'll try some of those ones with the, um, the grips on to see uh, how the, um, they feel. You know, I said to myself, Sheila, that's about time you came into the 21st century. So that's what I did. I bought them and uh, I did make, I used the, um, the four millimetre, the four millimetre one and I did a little a coaster just trying it out um to see how it um felt it took a little bit getting used to actually but, um wanna... that's the four millimeter one and because i tend to hold when i'm crocheting i have my hand anywhere up and down the um the thing with not being any sort of um to grip on and it took a little bit because i had to sort of hold it in the um the one place all the time that took did take a little bit getting used to and as i do crochet different to everybody else um maybe if i crochet the way everybody else did they might have been easier to um to use but um i can't do it the way everybody else does and it was just trying it out so that was one one i did with the, um the four millimeter one then i tried the, the thicker one where well, the grips well the grip is a little bit slightly thicker just that um the hook it is larger and i did it's that is exactly the same pattern as that one just i did different colors and things and it was okay but i didn't like the big the gaps in between the um the stitches with the bigger hook and it's both done on double knitting yarn i always use double knitting wool when um I do these uh well that's all i use most of the time anyway in odd time i've used um thicker stuff so that was just to try it out to see how it um felt and i have a, um, a work in progress at the moment i'm busy making a um crocheting um a cardigan uh, i've done the back and two fronts and i'm onto the, the sleeve so i'm going to show you how i managed with the uh just a little bit of the um the crochet with the um with my cardigan i'm going to get the um a little bit that was doing this is and you don't need to see the stitch i'm doing actually this is just just to show you how i um how i uh, managed I'm a little bit slower because I'm still getting used to 
Deixa eu ver isto. The more I do it, the more comfortable it um, it feels, so I think I'm going to be okay with it. But I think if I held the yarn like other people do, like this, <laughs> but as you can see, I can't even get the hook to go into the, um, the stitch doing that. It's just, <laughs> doesn't matter how hard I try, I try to do it the way everybody else does it, and it just does not come natural to me. And this is the, the best way for me to do it. And I've noticed with these ones with the grips as well, I don't know, it's probably rubber, but the other, my other ones are metal and they do feel a bit cold sometimes with these ones. They do feel warmer and they feel better. So I think I've joined the rest of you girls that do this crochet. I'm into the 21st century now with my crochet hooks. And the more, the more I do it, the faster I get. I get a little bit, a little bit better each time um, I make something. This is the, um, the sleeve for um, my cardigan when uh, I get the rest done. Um, I will probably show show a bit more of it when I when I get it done. Oops, I'll split the stitch there. Come back out. I'm not an expert crochet. I've never done that much. I'm more of a knitter than a crocheter. But I do like doing this now and again. And I've just finished a sweater. I was knitting a sweater lead and I've just finished that. I've just started doing another one for one of my great grandsons. So that will not take quite so long because it's only a little 24 inch sweater that I'm uh, doing. But I think I'm going to like these. Um, these new hooks so I'm gonna have to I haven't looked around really yet for any the bigger sizes because I've only got them going up to six um, six millimeters but I'm looking around at the price that I paid for these I'll just keep looking on mariners because I might get some larger sizes in um, eventually because I like mariners the prices in mariners is a lot cheaper than anywhere else I've ever looked so I'm going to keep on using them uh, when I can. So that was my, just my little review on using these um, hooks. And I quite like them. Uh, so I'm glad I decided to try them. And I, would, I didn't even know until I started looking on YouTube about all these different kinds of crochet hooks and that uh, you get. There's a girl, I think, um, Oh, it's Patsy's crochet. She does a lot of reviews on um, hooks and you know things like that. And I saw, I've seen one or two of them on hers. And I think that's where I got the idea. I'm going to try some of those hooks. So if you like my video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe. And I'll let you see any other mess I get in.